Me, Shane and Ben have been making movies since 2011. We made a number of shorts and every time that we've made a short film they've got a little, you know, a little bit better each time. I couldn't see his face. The, the, the writing style, the shooting style, the workflow, it was all preparation for, for this. Let's go back and think. What brought you here? To this moment? To this decision? We thought that we could complete this film in, in something like three months. I think we're, shall we try a take? I remember appreciating. Initially, I didn't realise how much of a, an undertaking it, it ultimately was to get to the other end of the film. We always knew it was going to be a massive undertaking from the start, and we, we just, I think we just rolled with it as best we could. Action! <laughs> what I quickly realised in the first two weeks after spending months working on the pre-production that I was almost hitting my physical limit of what I could do in terms of uh, sleep deprivation. I wasn't eating properly. I was sleeping on the floor most of the time, wherever I was. I, I really, I really wasn't looking after myself. Now, maybe that's a bit of an experience. Maybe there's not enough of us or enough hours in the day, but we thought that this film would be done way sooner than it actually took. But I think the mindset that I went into this with was that, oh, we can do anything. And I'm kind of glad I did, because I think if I had had a more cynical attitude when starting it, I don't think we would have made it. We progressively got a lot better when it came to scheduling things, because we knew what our limits were. Stress and pushing yourself to the physical limit certainly does not make for a better film. It's about being smart with your time. There are moments on set after a day or mid, mid shooting when things seem really dark. You know, you, you start to think how, how are we going to get to the end of this? How are we going to get it done? How are we going to get it done well? But if you have people around you who are really supportive, you've got to remember that you're all going through the same thing and you've got to think that you all want the same outcome. You pull each other up, you have to, because otherwise you're just going to struggle emotionally. You know, there's no guidebook, there's no rule book on making any of this. It's, it's how you feel about it. Compulsive flyer screwed over this woman, Andrea Johnson, who did the real work on their business venture, but got none of the credit. Easy. Give him a dead end job, promote Johnson. It's not as easy as that. Reprogramming a compulsive liar doesn't solve the root of the problem. It's a bad habit he developed at a young age. As when you get your first cut, um, it makes you feel sick because you just, you, you fucking hate it. And there's been certain scenes which haven't worked. Is it worth reshooting? Can we reshoot it? Can we get everyone back together? And you then have to go back and almost say that to everybody else that was involved. No, this isn't good enough. We need to do it again. You need to be incredibly strong. The types of effects that are now available that you can create inside of After Effects and with a few plugins are fantastic. And the amount of tutorials and the amount of stuff that you can learn on the internet has become so, so incredibly vast. And I think that's what's great about technology today. And I think that's what great, what's great about filmmaking today is that your, your only real limit is your imagination. It's such a pressure on Luke to get everything done himself. And the visual effects is the biggest undertaking, which I didn't really realize how huge it was. Um, it, but it, in the end it became a thing about time, what effects are going to take the less amount of time but still look good. And sometimes that would even translate into the edit, it's like, well how many shots do we really need to show this? Because the more shots I use of this particular scene that requires a lot of visual effects, that's another two days colouring in eyes. When it came to the, uh, the final stages of post-production, Luke sort of turned to me and he said, I've got a final cut of the film and you've got about a month to make the entire soundtrack for it. Now, off you go. Oh, Sam! 
I think the film has just made us stronger together. I mean, when you can work together and also be sort of best friends. Looking back at it, it's made me feel enormously proud. It's probably one of the, <laughs> the most difficult things I've ever done, which is, which is very first world. The easiest way to summarise my whole feeling throughout this film is just a roller coaster of emotion. To make something creative I, is, 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 is a privilege in a way, even though it's a lot of hard work. I, I think I've been extraordinarily lucky. There were definitely days where we were so stressed that we wanted to throw it out the window, but you just keep going for the love of it. And I think that's what we'll always take from everything we've done is we love what we do. In the midst of filming, I must have thought to myself, oh, when will it end? Um, but now that we're here, sort of looking at it thinking, what next? <laughs>